Welcome to Profiting Forest Trading. Glad to come your way again and hope you have been trading profitably. This is Joe, your fellow forest trader. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, kindly make sure you do so. Like my video and chat me up on my Telegram group. You can download all this strategy from my website. Just check the video description. Now, let's move on to today's strategy. This is a simple strategy that anyone can use. I have uh, combined only two indicators together. So that you will be able to use it easily without any stress. Now, how do we use this indicator or this strategy? Now, we have uh, two indicators this uh, fractal indicator, this indicator with blue and red, this indicator that gives us uh, uh, this dot like star. For us to place a trade blue, you can change the color to any color you want, but I change it to red for sell and blue for buy. Then we have uh, this TMA uh, band indicator that gives us uh, this white star and the orange color uh, star. Now, how do I use these two indicators now? I make sure that uh, both indicators uh, agree at the same level and they must agree at uh, the upper band or the lower band of this uh, TMA indicator. This is the lower band blue color and the red color, this orange red uh, color. I must see the indicator, the fractal indicator at this point, around this point. This is after the break of this band. I have uh, this a fractal indicator and then I have uh, this star from the TMA. So once I have the two in agreement, the next thing I'm going to do is to place my trade because I know I, in most cases this is going to deliver, it's going to hit my take profit and uh, your take profit is going to be the middle, t uh, the middle number of TMA at this point, either the middle point or the last uh, band, the lower band for a set. And at this point, you see that this T, uh, this fractal indicator giving us a buy signal at this particular point. This is invalid because it is not at the lower band. Once it is not at the lower band, I'm not going to take this particular trade. It's not at the lower band. Now, if I have something at this point right now, I can consider once I have the TMA star and the uh, fractal at this point i can place uh, that trade and here is another one for a buy here is uh, the fractal indicator that gave us a uh, good signal at this particular point and uh, here we have uh, the tma signal star also present so this is the best point to place trade for a buy and here again we have uh, another uh signal here we have both at the same line at the same line so at this point you are going to play straight for a buy and the this said for me i'm not going to take it because uh, it is not at the upper band and here we have uh, this and the white arrow at the uh, star radar at the same point so for a good buy and take profit is a middle band or the upper band or you trade your profit so this is all this uh, uh, signal at the middle in between the band is invalid. This is the only one that is valid around uh, this area. And here is another one, another buy signal also. Here is invalid because I do not see the fractal indicator giving us uh, uh, confirming this direction. So uh, the best point to enter is this point for a buy and here we have uh, a buy here everything agreement both indicator gave us a 
uh, by signal but uh, it did not uh, go away and neither did it eat our take profit so it's going to take us out of the trade it's going to take us out of the trade here is not valid here is not valid then this is a valid signal we have the fractal here we have the fractal here and we do have the tma star here the band my the tma uh, band my expand but the star it's not going to disappear and that's why we have it uh, in most places and here is another good point for uh, a cell we have a fractal indicator and then we have uh, this tme indicator the star also and it's our take profit the middle band and here is another one also for a buy so you can just check here is another one for a buy and then we have the fractal uh, indicator here also in agreement. Here is another one. It, it's uh, our take profit, the middle uh, band. This is good for scalping. And here we have uh, a fractal indicator and we have multiple uh, TMA star also present for sale. So this is how to use uh, this particular strategy. And here you see the buy signal with the star and this we deliver so this is against the trend at this point we have uh, another opportunity to enter uh, in the same direction for a buy so this is how to use uh, this particular strategy now let me show you uh, the setup for each uh, indicator let me show you the setup for each indicator so that once you download the indicator uh, you can uh, set it up yourself so this is tma band i change this color to orange or you use the diverse set diverse set is going to give you a different color it's not going to be uh orange or white because i change this color you can change it to any color you want you can change it this is just the color setting the color and the width then uh, the value i change this value to 89 the half length of this indicator i change it to uh 89 you can change this to 54 you can play with the half length you can play with the band division also so you can play with this uh, value and see which of the setting you like for this particular uh indicator and once you've done that you set it up just click ok you can you can use uh, any number you want you can use two uh three just check the band division and which one you would like or you will prefer that give you accurate uh, signal so once you are done with all the settings because this is not the default setting this have length this is not the default setting the default setting is 54 but i'm using 89 here so click uh, ok once you are done and the second indicator is this uh, IMTF uh, flatter indicator. Uh, here is the color uh, royal blue and red. Royal blue and red. Royal blue and uh, and red. This is the color. This royal blue and red. Red for sell and uh, the royal blue for a uh, buy. So this is how to set the color and the weight. You can increase if you want and you can reduce if, if you want. And another thing. Uh, that I need to tell you uh, the time frame I'm using is 60 minutes. I use 60 minutes, and but I trade the signal on 15 minutes. But if you want to trade uh, on higher time frame, like one hour, you have to change this value to like 240. That is four hours. You change the value to 240 if you want to trade uh, on higher time frame. Now, let me show you what is going to happen if I change. Uh, uh, my time frame to one hour right now on my chart and let's see what is going to happen so you see the fractal indicator i'm going to see only one one which is not uh, too accurate or convenient for anyone to uh, trade with because you are going to see one one there uh, uh, dot it's not going to disappear if you mark this particular point on one hour this is where we have uh, the fractal indicator on one hour so if i go back to 15 minutes you are going to see it there still the same thing is not going to disappear though it fails didn't deliver 
and then we are not going to use it because it, it, it formed in between the band so it is invalid now if i want to use it on higher time frame like one hour time frame i'm going to change uh, this uh, fractal period i'm going to change it to 240 and you are going to see the difference right now so let me just refresh it and uh, so i have changed the time frame and here is it on the four hours here is it on four hours chart but let's see what is going to happen on the NOAA time frame uh, i have to connect to okay we have it here on the one hour but let me connect to internet right now uh i dis disconnected so that i'll be able to scroll through the chart but let me connect so that uh, the indicator can update on the higher time frame so let's just wait and let me connect okay so here we, we have it on the 15 minutes i on one hour for our radar and i want to check it out uh, on lower time frame and yeah you can see it on the 15 minutes right now and the, the fake out that we got on the when i use a time period of 60 minutes on fractal indicator that gave us by here it was a, it is not present right now because we use higher time frame this setting the fractal setting is from four hour which is still okay too for a good uh, trade is from four hours time frame and if you use that uh is going to reduce the fake out that you are going to have from the lower time frame for like 60 minutes and here is it on one hour right now and it has updated here is it on one hour time frame right now here is it on it so we have the frag time because i want to trade on uh one hour time frame and that's why i have it now here is a good sell also good confirmation at this point good confirmation for a buy this is an uh, infallible this is good confirmation also do it take us out because of the uh, of the gap opening price the midnight of the following day and here yeah, this is how to use it and how to adjust the factor setting you can decide to use the four hours uh, setting for fractal in order to reduce uh, or to minimize the noise in the market the buy that we saw here it has disappeared because uh, we've changed the value the time period to four hours uh, uh, setting and that's why we have uh, it right now and this is a bit uh, accurate uh, yes it this is okay this is okay it gave us a good uh, set up and eliminate all the noise used to around 40 uh, minutes for fractal as you can see it gave us a good setting good strategy so this is how to use uh, this particular uh, strategy it is simple and anyone can see it just i uh, can use it just make sure you like my videos subscribe to my youtube channel if you are new and chat me now on my telegram group and this indicator is yours if you want to look just for it on internet you can google it out but if you want it from me chat me up on my telegram group or you can check the video description the download link might not be there but if it is not there yet chat me up on telegram group and i'm going to send it to you see i come your way again i remain your fellow trader joe and bye for now